Somebody go get the tambourine and the organ because it's Revenge of the Fifth. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. May the fifth be with you. Revenge of the one, two, three. Four, fifth. That's what this is today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And share this video if you want to know why I'm so excited about this video. And I will get into it. Thanks for watching. All right. I am so glad that I joined this challenge because it is the fourth when I'm recording this video. And I haven't recorded a video in forever. So just having this date had me on track to come on here and say something to you to tell you how i'm doing i have still i haven't done my empties video i haven't done my may favorites videos haven't done any of that but this one because i know that i'm with a group i said okay for this i'm gonna pull it through and i'll just do a marathon now that i'm here and get it all done so without further ado of course you knew i did finish this one this is the cap so there's nothing in there that is just a cap that as you're using it it gets convoluted and um dirties up the top there i really enjoyed this skin lip gloss it is highly pigmented like a lipstick you do not need a lipstick with this but of course i always wore one so i have one down and I'm so glad I put this in the challenge because I'm so happy to start out my first update video with a completed lip product. This is the second lip product I've completed this year. I've been really lousy at completing lip products. And um, the other lip product that I put in this challenge, I only used it like maybe five or ten times. And I wasn't good with it at all. There's no change in it. So... This lip product, I was successful. I used it. It's finished. It's gone, and I got one out of five. And hey, guys, <laughs> did you notice that looks like a lightsaber? <laughs> okay, I'm being silly. But you're watching a video of people who are in the Star Wars, so what'd you expect? Lightsaber. Hey, saber of the truth, sword and the truth, fight your battles and win. Do not stress, do not worry, you can handle this. Do what you got to do. Have faith. Get to recognize good people. Handle your business and you can overcome any adversity. That's what Star Wars is about. That's what I love it so much. Okay. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Anyway, I'll get back to the rest of the video. I'll start with the things that are like, mm. okay, this one here. I did not use this one much. The, I only used this one for maybe a week or so, and you can see there is a dip in that. I did say to you guys that I was going to start using this in July, so that is my update there. This one has a little corner, and it's just frustrating to use that little corner, so I just, once it got to this point, I ignored it. So there we are, but I will, I guarantee you, I will finish this palette by the end of the year because this is one of my three oldest palettes, and I want to finish all three of my oldest palettes this year. Maybe I'll finish two because one of them is an eye palette. So that's that. Okay, let me see. Here's my good, now we start my good news stories. This is where I am with my bronzer. This stuff, the self tanner, I use it twice a week. And y'all, look at me. Can you see how much better I look? Look at that orangey, lively color in my skin. I love this stuff. I must admit, if you look at my nails, you see that dingy orange color underneath my nails? That's because I apply this with my fingers because I think it gives me the most streak-free application. And I have relatively long natural nails. I don't worry about discoloration on my nails. I know other people do. I don't care. You know, if you look in that hard, so be it. You know, I'm old. I got to do the best I can. <laughs> you know, <laughs> self-tanner. This skin looks young and pretty to me. And at my age, that's all that matters. So this self-tanner here by, oh my God, by Tarte. 
Look at, look at that. Can you go back and see my video when I wasn't using it? Look at that. I look so good. I'm talking about, look at that color. I look so chocolate. I look like I've been to on vacation. Okay, this is a deterrent. But like back when I was working at a, a comp for, for the firm and we had to work like 55 hours a week. Sometimes you have vacation. They're like, oh no, you can't take vacation because we need you to work this contract. Because see, they make money when you work a contract. They get like a thousand dollars an hour and stuff like that and you get like five dollars an hour so they would do that to you so sometimes god has forgiven me we would say oh but i can't because i paid for this trip to hawaii and it's non-refundable so if you um if you're going to take my vacation away from me, you need to pay me back my $20,000 that I paid for my vacation. Well, accountants are cheap, and they legally would have to pay you for they, your vacation if they take it away from you. They're like, oh, no, go on vacation. So thus, we all started using self-tanner. We were way too tired and too cheap to go on vacation, but you got to come back looking like you've been laying in the sun someplace in the middle of winter. It was Estee Lauder self-tanner that we used to use back in the day. We'd come back orange, dark chocolate brown. And it's like, oh, you look good. That vacation. <laughs> but I'm redeemed now. I would never do that now. I just try to come up with some other way to, to yeah. But anyway, that's my that's how I started using self-tanner. <laughs> Aside from, you know, when I was working, I I worked my way through college at the beauty counter, so I worked for Estee Lauder, and I, when they sampled it to me, I was like, this is a self-tanner. It's a dream come true. I don't have to be green and gray. I can be orangey, brown, and lively. I can be a golden girl. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm halfway finished with that. After, after I finish with this, because I am a black person, in August and July, I can get enough sun to maintain my color. And if I don't maintain it, I'll just switch over and start using makeup. You know, I have no shame. I haven't used this one because I am still using this one. And as I told you, this, even though it looks empty, it only takes a little bit of this body bronzer. This is a makeup that I use to give my skin the sheen that you see there. Guys, I'm telling you. This sheen is fake. You see that light bouncing off those crystals, okay? That ain't water. That's makeup, okay? So, but this will last. I mix this with my moisturizer. I mix it with whatever, and I'm using that. So, I won't start this one until I finish this one because I love this one, and I want to make sure. I've had this for three years, so I want to make sure I finish it. Okay, this is my other one, my gimme. This is what's in my facial makeup. This is the uh, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And I started right here. I am now right here. So I am hoping to finish this for uh, July. And that will be my second empty for sure. You know, maybe I'll finish the Sunless tan Tanner too. That'll be, so that would be, if that happens, that would be three. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then we have this. I thought I was going to be able to finish this in a month because I used a Nest set prior to this one. And I was going through those Nests really bad. But this Toka is a much more concentrated fragrance. And sometimes I forget to use it, forget to replenish it. It always has a little bit of scent lingering. And this is actually called Florence, guys. That's what I'm using. But this is how much I used. It was brand new when I started here. So it is right there now. And I need to finish the rest of this. I think if I'm diligent and use it every day, at least five times a week, and then reapply it so that I have a nice fragrance all day. I think three times a day. And I'm smelling pretty all day long. I'm loving this. It's it smells like gardenias and jasmine and we have gardenias and jasmine in the garden right now and they are just smelling so beautiful so i love smelling like that too so i think that's i think that's a good update i must admit i was a little shocked i thought i was gonna finish this in a month but next month i'm hoping to finish this one and then finish at least half of the next one you know or maybe finish two in a month so that's what i'm going for and like I told you on that lipstick, it didn't change at all. But I I did use it five or ten times. I have it on right now mixed with another one. So 
on lipsticks are a journey, but I did finish one lipstick today. I gotta remind myself, I did finish one lipstick today. It was a lip gloss, so I finished one lipstick this year, one liquid lipstick this year, and then now that lip gloss, so that, that I cannot explain how many lipsticks I purchased this year, considering that I've only finished two, but you know, that's another story, that's another video. Let me stay on, let me keep it positive. Now the last thing is my Don't Quit Your Daydream palette, which I love the name of that palette. I gotta get the Kindness is Your Best whatever blush palette they have. But in any event, when I started this, all of these were full. If you look at them now, I have panned this one, and I have panned this one, and I have panned this one. I am expanding the pan a little bit in this one, but the ones that I've panned, can you see those? I'm not going to use those anymore. I love this color, so it's so hard for me to stay out of this color. I do have it on today, even though my plan was after I panned the color, I would move on to the next color. I did, I have started using this color. I wasn't using this color at all. I was just using this color as my contrast color, but now you can see I'm using the, the darker brown as my contrast color now, and um, I have a little bit of this right here. The problem for me with stopping using this is because it's it's a satin and it's got that warm tone in it and I just love it. So this is really hard for me to stay out of, but I need to let this go and move on to this one and this one. Um, as far as the goldy color, I don't have that on right now. What I have on is in my highlight, I have this on and then I do have a glitter on. For my brow bone, I am actually using this color here. I'm trying to give you a truer color. This is kind of a, a medium brown color, and this is a these two are very dark. But this is good for my brow bone. It gives a nice natural brow bone. I do have these on right now. And I'm not using this one anymore. Sometimes I will dip into this one to clean up the brow area. So I'm feeling pretty good about this progress in one month's time. And you can see I'm getting a pretty good dent in that one I want you to see. So I think I should pan that one pretty soon. And next month I'm hoping to pan that one, that one, and maybe this one as well. Um, now that I have hit pan in this one, I think it's a pretty significant pan. I am going to not use this one, and I'm going to switch to using this one again, because I want to finish this one this year. I just wanted to get some good use out of this one. This one, brand new palette, but I've had this palette for two years, so I really need to be about it. So now I'm gonna switch to this one, and maybe this one, this one just looks like so much fire, I'm intimidated to use it. Whereas if you look at this one, which I have on, I mean, it's 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 kind of beaming too, huh? But you see, it looks a little bit duller, whereas I think I see like all kinds of super shiny, this, this stuff is amazing. But anyway, I'm gonna brave, I'm gonna get my courage up and do what I gotta do. So there it is. And um, that is my panning video for the fifth. This is my first update, and I'm really excited about it. I think it was a good update. Let me know what you think. How would you like for me to do this video a little bit differently if there's something you want me to add in? I'll see if I have some pictures of some of the looks I've been doing this month so that you can see how I've been using it, what kind of looks I came up with this palette. I, I've been using this palette exclusively. I haven't been adding other colors into it, but now that I've used up my fave in here, I am going to start using some other colors from some other palettes. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for staying here until the end. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And please share this video with your friends. I'd really like to build my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.